Oh. Kyle Dake. First off, beat the streets last year. Electrifying win yeah. against Iranian. Actually, is that who uh, Burroughs wrestled in the World Championships? No, that guy uh, ended up losing to that like 18-year-old from Iran. Really? Yeah. Looking at this event, you know, obviously you're not in the event. Rough. How many weeks are we out of out of surgery right now? Uh, we are three weeks out of surgery. Yeah. So we got a, a long road to recovery. I'm gonna have to get surgery again to to get the hardware out, and then we'll see how soon I can get back after that. How long did they tell you? Like, what was the prognosis as far as how long is Kyle Day gonna be out of action, out of commission? I'm gonna be out for a long time. Uh, I can't tell you for certain how long it'll be because after the second surgery, it could. You know there could be complications so uh, hopefully on the shorter end of things you know five months on the longer end seven months but hopefully hopefully we can split the difference maybe so I make sure that I'm fully fully recovered and ready to rock and roll. Cole tells me you're a freak you're a fast healer are you counting on that? I'm certainly counting on that uh, hopefully I can heal up faster than Faster than Superman. I, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, but you know, you got you don't want to rush into things because I don't want to re-injure it and have to be out again. Mentally, where does this put you right now? Like, how do you feel? You know, I was really looking forward to the U.S. Open uh, World Team Trials this year. I, I felt I felt much better having a full year of, of freestyle under my belt. Um, you know, I got a ton better. I had a couple setbacks. I broke my hand out in Azerbaijan. Thought I was gonna, you know, I, I wrestled well out there. Could could have, should have, woulda, but you know, these little setbacks are, are frustrating. But what are you gonna do? Look at this event. How, how, how awesome of an event is this? Beat the streets. You wrestled at Rumble on the Rails, but here in Times Square, you haven't been able to wrestle in that. I know. I've been. I've missed Times Square the past two times. I really wish I could could have been here this year. Uh, I love this event. I love walk, coming here, watching, participating. Um, would be would be very special. But you know, if you just look around, pe people who never have seen wrestling want to stop and see and watch, and and hopefully these guys can put on a show and we can grab a few more fans. You always shine when the lights are on. No doubt about it. Will we see Kyle Dake back at full strength? Will you get on the 2016 team? That that's that's the plan. If, if it wasn't the plan, then why would you train? It doesn't seem worth it. But uh, that that's my goal to be on the Olympic team. You know, win the win the 2015 World Championships, and and uh, I know I know it's gonna be a tough road, but you know I'm, I'm willing willing to take that road. 74 kilos in the United States of America. I think we have four guys that can win Olympic gold medals. Why is that weight so deep? And, and, and why is that the route you gotta go, man? Why that weight? You know, I don't, obviously they, they added a couple more weight classes, but 70 kilos for me would be, you know, that would be an extreme, extreme life change. And it would be really tough for me to get down there. Um, it, but, then, but then there's a, I don't even know how big the jump is, 63 to 189. It's like ridiculous. Like you can't. Nobody can really make that met that jump. Um, but if they had a middleweight, maybe we could spread out a little bit. But right now, 74 kilos is where we're strong, and and that's where a lot of guys feel comfortable. How far do you look to uh, you know strapping up against Jordan Burroughs and David Taylor? You know, there's marbles at the weight too. How far do you look to, to getting back and competing with those guys? You know, I, I had a really strong itch. I I went down to Cuba, wrestled in Cuba, was wrestling really well, and uh, you know I just I wanted I wanted to wrestle Jordan again at the Open, and that that was you know I've been itching to get back on the mat. Especially with him because you know he's he's at the top right now. He sits at the top, and, and I always want to test myself against the best. And you know you got to respect Jordan Burroughs, two-time world champ, Olympic champ, and uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that I won't be able to get to do that for a long time. You're a really intelligent guy, a big student of the game. I know that. Uh, but how much have you grown as far as a student of the game, maybe as a coach, while being in a walking boot and now cast? How much have you grown? I think a lot. I think I, I really. Um, really been able to, to understand certain positions that I kind of, it was really hard for me to explain in the past. Uh, you know, before I would just do it, and now I can explain why I'm doing it in a certain way. Um, and then, you know, I'm, another big thing is that I'm willing to learn because I, you know, sit by Coach Cole, Damian, Mike Gray, um, and able to learn from them, their coaching styles, and, and little things here and there. And I'm also allowed to, you know, been able to learn from Zeke Jones on, on multiple freestyle positions that I can translate over to folk style for the college guys. But for me right now, 
all my technique is is towards freestyle, not folk style, and I think that that alone has helped me, you know, make huge jumps. You got anything else for me? I don't. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Thanks for the time. Enjoy the wrestling tonight, I will. and hopefully I'll see you at the gala. Yeah. See ya.